Hello, everyone. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, wishing you all a happy and prosperous new year for 2020. This is your weekly tarot reading for Virgo for December 30th through January 5th. Thank you for joining me today. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe and join us each and every day for my daily readings. Just a reminder that these are general readings. Take what resonates and disregard the rest. I'm using the Nefertari Tarot Deck and the Eternal Crystals Oracle Cards. Now let's get started. First, the Nine of Wands. The Major Arcana card, the Devil and the Major Arcana card, The World. Okay, Virgo. So you're starting off your week with the energy of the Nine of Wands. You've been putting up a fight in regards to something, Virgo, and you're standing your ground, and you have your guard up, and you're watching and waiting for something in particular to happen. Now, whatever this might possibly be, Virgo, this card can come as a warning that you think you know what to expect and you have all your defenses up and ready to protect yourself, but then things might turn out differently than what you expected and people can surprise you. Now, the danger of this card is that when you expect the worst, it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. And that's exactly what you're going to get. So take a look around, Virgo. Notice where you are and that you got there by your own choices. You're not a victim. If you're not happy with your current position, you have the choice to change it. And the number nine energy of this card is completion. The number nine is the last single digit number, so it is done, complete. It is a time to look back over possibly 2019. For some of you Virgos, you're looking over the past year. And this makes sense, since you're only days away from the new year 2020 ringing in. So now Virgo, midweek, right when the new year's coming in you get the major arcana card, the devil. And as I've explained before, the major arcana cards are the bigger, de bigger deals. They're the, the life events, milestones in your life that are happening. And this can be so many different things to so many different Virgos out there. So like one example can be right at New Year's, possibly as you're celebrating, something happens, and it will be something that you will never forget this particular New Year's Eve. Now, I know one of the signs this week, and I can't remember which one it is, I felt that some of them were going to be asked, will you marry me at the stroke of midnight? Something that somebody's going to remember. So it's something like that. You're just never going to forget this particular New Year's and going into the new decade. Something's going to take place. And with this being the devil card, which is about overindulgence, I really can't say if it'll be good or bad. One thing, Virgo, with the devil card is the feeling of restriction. But this card is actually self-imposed limitations and restricting yourselves, bringing it on yourself. In other words, and the Virgos that this really applies to and should be resonating with, they know exactly what this is all about. Now, for the rest of the Virgos out there, the devil card is showing up because it's New Year's Eve. It's time to celebrate. We have the wonderful year of 2020 coming in, and it's time to get out and have some fun. Let go. Forget about tomorrow. But as a warning, the number 15 energy of this card, which reduces to six, 
which is about balance and moderation. Keep that in mind as you're having a great time. Enjoy, Virgos. Now, towards the end of the week, Virgo, you have the major arcana card, the world. This is the end of your cycle or phase. And this makes sense as you're starting a new year and a new decade. And I really feel for some of the Virgos out there that this journey lasted the entire decade. So you are done with 2019. This is about taking a moment and reviewing the lessons that you went through for the past decade. But now it is time to move on. And this card being the number 21, it reduces to three in regards to the world card. This is like a trinity, looking at your body, mind or spirit, your past, present or future your choice, will, and action. This is like your body and mind can break your spirit or connect to it. Your past and present will affect your future. And your choice and will can strictly determine your actions. Life lessons, Virgo. And the three-card spread here adds up to 45 which reduces to number nine, which we're right back at the beginning here, as in with the nine of wands. It is complete, and you are now looking back over the past achievements and time or phase of your life. This is a very normal energy that can be around the new year. Now let's take a look at your crystal, if I can get it. <laughs> Garnet, commitment. Heart chakra. Okay. So the guides have chosen the gemstone garnet. For a select few of you Virgos out there, this won't resonate with everyone. And this is in regards to your relationships and commitment and your heart chakra. This is about reigniting your passion and opening your heart and soul to positive, committed relationships. And I know for the past several weeks, there's a lot of Virgos out there struggling with their relationships. So the guides are asking you to examine the beliefs you hold about your relationships and start to identify any beliefs which no longer serve you. And then make a conscious decision to let them go. In this way, you'll make room for new beginnings and you'll be more ready to embrace any changes ahead. Garnet attracts positive, loving energy to you and your relationships. You will feel your heart open with love and a new sense of fulfillment. But don't feel guilty for wanting to be happy and successful in a long-term committed relationship. You deserve to have a wonderful life partner. Now, for the Virgos that are already in a relationship that's positive and loving, Garnet is only showing up to reconfirm that you're on the right track. But if you're currently single, or if you're in an unhappy, unfulfilling relationship, the Garnet gemstone reminds you to stay strong and hopeful because there are some great things just around the corner in regards to a new relationship ahead in 2020. Thank you for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and support my channel. For additional guidance, my website link is below. Love and abundance to my Virgo family.